makes her art. About what? How you make your art. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just talking about thrust and counter thrust. And yeah. So go for uh, it. Tone. Uh, and, uh, well, I think I'm thinking in terms of, even though it's a two-dimensional piece, I'm thinking in terms of spatial and empty space and mass. In that piano, I, 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 I was trying to think of mass and space. And, uh, but sometimes the color and all the detail gets in the way. And, um, I look, uh, what encourages me, I, uh, if I had gone to the art museum today, I like to go to the library now, and what I'm actually, I'm trying to do is to absorb or, or observe, observe, what are these, I continue to think this way, even since the 70s, I'm continuing to think this way, what is contemporary art saying? What is it all about? Well, it's about uh, issues. It's about everyday common objects. It's about what you observe. Uh, there was a uh, there was an exhibit of that this woman did all in glass, and I didn't see the exhibit. And this was recent. Maybe I told you about that, but it was all about the sidewalks in Houston. And I know that subject more than you can imagine. <laughs> and uh, I wish I had seen that exhibit, but it was pieces of glass, and that's what the sidewalks are. They're all crushed and dirty and wobbly and uneven. And even going to that little coffee shop on Washington, it's hard labor to just get there, especially with a walker. But anyway. I like to go back to the contemporary arts and see what, what are they trying to say. And well, anyway, uh, I'm trying to simplify now because other than that, where it's too busy, it's a lot of busyness. So I want to get away from that. <laughs> I'm just showing it here. That's one of your busier yeah, pieces. So busy but this piece. one over here mm -hmm. is a more simplified one. It's more monumental and more uh -huh. a, a passion for, mm -hmm. for, well, I can't explain it. I told my lady yesterday that artists should not try to explain their art. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, I, I want freedom to think about this. I don't want my domestic help to come in and interfere with this. That you want, you're turning into a hermit. Mm -hmm. you, you're hermitizing. <laughs> um, what? Hermitizing, turning into a hermit. Yeah. Well, I, 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 uh, I admire that. Had one month that the Buddhists teach of bringing, bringing it into a wholeness. And, uh, I haven't reached that goal, but I try to think, think about it. Right now, I'm looking at your window. Uh huh. And I've seen art like that in the sh music. <laughs> it's a simple piece. Yeah. It's just there, and it's an artist could do that, uh, make uh, make a painting like that, and it'd be the, be uh, you know acceptable in a, in a gallery or a museum. Mm-hmm. It's a nice piece of art. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, what and can it you say? Be that way when it was earlier, when the daylight was in here and we saw too much around. Uh -huh. But now it stands out. <laughs> and uh, that's the thing about some contemporary art. It just 
stands out. It's like, look at that butterfly and look what it's doing. Mm -hmm. You know, look what it's doing. But who looks at it? Who takes the time to look at it? Emily. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, other than somebody like myself or Emily or you, uh, it's an amazing process. And everything around us, if we look at it, it's an amazing process. And that's how I think of contemporary art. It's something that you're aware of. But you can't explain that to the public. You can explain it to everyone.